The Model 437 Vanguard is a stealthy jet-powered drone that's been designed to test theories that reduce engineering revisions, expedite schedules, and diminish costs. This could all prove a game-changer for future aircraft programs. It represents a growing demand for low-cost but powerful drones that can be built quickly and cheaper to meet the needs of whichever Air Force wants to use it in battle. Part of a larger program of works, this plane is one of the first to demonstrate how the future of military flight might look. Let's take a look at what we know so far. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Model 437 Vanguard is a stealthy aircraft concept, which evolved from the Model 401 Sierra blueprint developed by Scaled Composites an aerospace company based in the U.S. and linked to military giants Northrop Grumman. The project has been set up to demonstrate a versatile, cost-effective, and expendable aircraft solution. The concept has been under development since 2021, and it was originally brought in as an advanced air combat drone and part of the Loyal Wingman program. These Loyal Wingman aircraft are set to become a key part of the inventory for any modern air force that wants to keep up with ever-evolving aviation technologies. These autonomous planes will be essential to conduct operations in a lethal environment against rivals equipped with powerful anti-air capabilities. What characterizes a Loyal Wingman drone is an aircraft that's been designed not only to increase numbers of planes and create mass for operations, but also to take hits that would not be possible with manned platforms. Militaries around the world have been developing their own Loyal Wingman drones and comparing notes as these planes become more of a feature within their fleet. We'll look at the program as a whole in more detail later, but let's get back to the U.S. contribution of the Model 437 Vanguard. The Model 437 is a manned version of the original design and benefits from scaled composites' knowledge in quickly progressing from concept to experimental aircraft through design, fabrication, and testing phases. This makes them extremely swift at taking an idea and putting it on the runway. The first flight of the aircraft was seen in August of 2024, which was only 21 months after the start of its design process. The reason why this version is manned rather than the autonomous concept is that having a vehicle that can be or is manned offers the ability to quickly move through test programs. This lets the testers experiment with new technologies and new ways of doing things with a backup that allows for more risk than if it were completely unmanned from the start. For example, to do taxi testing on an unmanned platform takes much longer than it takes on a manned equivalent. Because with the human involved, you can respond to unexpected events immediately, with judgment you don't have if you're doing it strictly unmanned. The jet is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney 535 engine with around 3,400 pounds of thrust. The aircraft has a wingspan of 41 feet and is 41 feet long with a gross takeoff weight of 10,000 pounds. The M437 will have a range of about 3,000 nautical miles and an endurance of 6 hours. It also has the ability to carry up to 2,000 pounds of payload in multiple locations including an internal weapons bay sized to accommodate two AIM-120 missiles. The aircraft can also ascend to a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet. The development of the plane has allowed Scaled Composites and its parent company, Northrop Grumman, to pioneer new aircraft design techniques, including aerodynamic and structural evaluations, the crafting of the fuselage and tail assembly, assembly of the aircraft, integration of systems, and the orchestration of both ground and flight tests. Northrop Grumman crafted and assembled the detachable wing sections by using cutting-edge digital engineering resources as part of its Digital Pathfinder project. Using these digital tools and manufacturing techniques, the company constructed the wings for the plane within a fully digitalized ecosystem. This team environment saw Northrop Grumman, alongside customers and suppliers, get involved in the design, construction, and testing of the wings before the aircraft's first flight. This digital pathfinder initiative could be important for the future design of similar aircraft. It's allowed the demonstration of the huge benefits of a fully digital engineering ecosystem. It's already been proven to reduce engineering changes, speed up schedules, and lower costs, so massively increasing advantages for future aircraft programs. 
so much so that it has reduced engineering modifications and redesigns to under 1%, which is a dramatic contrast to the 15-20% to usually seen with conventional methodologies. This all plays into the loyal wingman ambitions seen by the US Air Force and its equivalents around the world. The US Air Force is the obvious leader in this field, currently and back in March 2019 when it launched the Skyborg program. This aimed to introduce a new unmanned combat aerial vehicle platform to supporting an AI system, known as the Autonomy Core System, as a way of bringing a loyal wingman capability into USAF service. Prototype Skyborg aircraft are being built by three companies under contracts awarded at the end of 2020. Kratos was given $37.7 million for its XQ-58A Valkyrie system. General Atomics ASI was awarded $14.3 million and Boeing got $25.7 million for its efforts. Before it became classified, trials were seen using the Kratos UTAP-22 uncrewed air vehicle and then the entire Skyborg program was made classified by the Air Force, meaning that no further information has been available. But before this, it was known that Kratos was building 12 Valkyrie aircraft and it's believed that the plane has flown with a series of different payloads. Meanwhile, General Atomics have been flying its MQ-20 Avenger equivalent to support the Air Force's ambitions for autonomy. They're also responsible for the XQ-67, with a focus on high speed and long range operations. The XQ-67, like its counterparts, uses stealth features to minimize radar detection. Its modular design allows for various payloads, enabling it to adapt to different mission requirements. This drone is expected to operate autonomously or in coordination with human pilots, improving overall mission effectiveness and providing tactical advantages in modern warfare scenarios. It is believed that Boeing is using its own airborne teaming system as part of the program. The ATS is being developed in Australia under the Air Force Minor program with the MQ-28A Ghost Bat. This features a wingspan of approximately 30 feet and is optimized for stealth with a low radar cross-section. The Ghost Bat can carry various payloads, including sensors and munitions, and has a range of around 2,000 nautical miles. Powered by a turbofan engine, it can reach speeds of over 620 miles per hour. In 2022, during the Australian general election, it was announced by former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison that the Australian Ministry of Defence would be buying seven Ghost Bat aircraft for the Royal Australian Air Force for 454 million Australian dollars. This will be on top of the 155 million Australian dollars that was given for three prototypes plus an initial three production aircraft. These three, plus the additional seven, will provide 10 aircraft overall for the RAAF. Tests have been completed on these planes and the first pilot has completed training on these planes. So what are these for? The Loyal Wingman drones are designed to accompany manned fighter jets like the F-35 or F-A-18 and act as force multipliers to provide additional firepower, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or defense capabilities while taking pilots out of harm's way. To do this, Loyal Wingman drones have AI-driven flight systems that enable them to function with a high degree of independence. This means they can fly in formation, avoid threats, and execute complex tasks like surveillance, reconnaissance, or target acquisition without needing human operators to constantly intervene. This AI allows the drones to adapt to changing battlefield conditions make decisions about optimal positioning, and react to potential threats if needed. All of the aircraft we've looked at, including the Vanguard, are being put under the spotlight for their use of advanced composite materials and stealth technologies. These materials reduce radar cross-sections and can withstand extreme conditions like those encountered during hypersonic flight. It appears as though this is the way that the future looks for military jets. What are your thoughts on the Model 437? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.